this episode we explore the Dim River and cave near Alanya. Try our luck at fishing for the first time in ages. And attempt to climb the mountain peaks near Alanya with the kids. Join our Dutch sailing family in this episode number 18. this car today to show Omadia around a little bit and uh, we decided mainly to go to the dim river and the dim cave so the dim cave we kind of missed it driving there we ended up at the river first and they've got lots of those picnic places here and this is one with a nice pool and slides and that's what Yoshi is enjoying right now we are at class picnic And it turns out they're serving some nice lunch here as well. Lunch with a view. <laughs> well, it looks like we made it to Philly's picnic. We were just driving and finding some more spots to find waterfalls and things. And everywhere they made picnic places, but they made it very nice. And there is a little swing here, but the water is so cold. I don't know if Jolene will go there. Will you go there? It will. Yosha wants to go. Ah, oh, look, I think Yosha, Jolene's mama's, mommy's gonna beat you to it. Yeah. yeah. So, and? Oh. Here, look. We are checking out the dim cave. Let's see what that's like. Thank you. The Dim Cave, definitely spectacular, bigger than I thought as well, I had no idea how big it was. The amount of dripstones, stalagmites, stalactites, it's awesome, amazing. The kids find it so spooky. And back outside again from the Dim Cave. Nice and cool in there, and here quite a bit warmer. You can feel the humidity. Ah, beautiful. Well, we just woke up, well, not that long ago, and looking in the water, lots of fish swimming around. So I was like, oh, you know what, throw in the rod, 
small piece of bread and see what happens. And yes, two minutes later, we got the first one. One minute later, the second one. And the idea is with the small ones, we can catch bigger ones. And uh, that was the idea of uh, your mom. I think it's a good idea. So that's why we're catching them and using them for that. But then for the bigger ones, we might have to go out of the marina, I guess. We will see. But this is the score so far. And I'm absolutely no hero with, uh, you know, killing them or anything. But uh, yeah, imagine with a small one, <laughs> big fish as well. So I'll just have to get used to that. I suppose you don't often fish like this where you can directly see the fish looking at the bait. Okay, and as I start filming, they're all gone, but uh, for sure they'll be back in five seconds. There's bigger ones there. Yeah, deeper down, right? No, they're in. Oh, yes, yeah. Ah, uh, well, well. This is good. We are up at five now. Let's see. Ta da! And I don't even think we need five to go and use for bigger ones. So we'll just start throwing them back, I guess. But yeah, it's kind of fun, right? <laughs> Last time I was fishing, I guess I was like 15 years old or something, maybe 12. That's a long time ago. I'll let you calculate. Yeah. So in Dutch, we would say we krijgen de smaak te pakken. Which would translate to like, uh, we are grabbing the taste for it now. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, it's funny. I feel bad for them. But you know, if you go out at sea sailing and then you catch like a big tuna, it's kind of handy to have at least some experience, right? I don't know if this counts with the mini fish, but there we go. Yeah. Oh, up. <laughs> They're coming. Yeah, mini. Hi. Oh <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I have something. I have something which, something which you can eat. Something. Which what you is can it? Eat. Let's see Place. it. Place. Meat. 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 Yeah. Meat. Mm, this. Yucky. Toch? Yes, that. And do you like it? No. No. No, but you're not so scared, right? No. Do you want to cut another fish? Yes. <laughs> and here we are, using the little fish as bait. Let's see. We had it trail behind the dinghy for a bit, and now we just thought, switch off the engine, lie still. Because the uh, bait, it floats on the surface only. It might be, we want it to be deeper. Either use more lead or just stay stationary to let it sink. So let's see. Very nice way to pass the afternoon, right? Toch? Leuk? Yeah. Yay! Well, 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 we had some trouble receiving packages from Holland costing like double the amount. Behind me here the air fryer. But ordering within Turkey seems to work fine. One package here. I don't know what it is. We just got this Velcro. And Yosha, what do you have? I don't know. Who knows what it is? Uh, Mama? I don't know. I also don't remember what I ordered. No, I remember. But oh, wasn't this? Well, I this think is this mine. is Mummy. Ah, you see? What is it? <laughs> Open it! What is it? A toss? Suck? So much fun! Yes! Look! Yeah! I think it might be a laundry bag! You can read what's on it, Joshua. You read it to the camera! Yes! Out loud! Yes. Hello? Yes! <laughs> is it a hat? You read it's it. a hat. You read it. Oh, no. Yosha doesn't want to read it. Laundry today or naked tomorrow? Hmm, yes. Ew. <laughs> well, it's Ew. always an option, right? For some people, it does well on YouTube. I don't think we'll go that way. I'll do laundry. Don't worry. Okay. 
What is it? I think this is daddy's new set of spanners. Yep. Pretty essential for the boat. Never had any of those. On recommendation of one of the neighbors. And he's right. Had a collection of all sorts of tools, but nothing really complete. And now. I think that's part of cruising as well, right? Have some tools so you can fix things properly. And there you go. Confiscated. Another day, another adventure. So we've been looking at these bounties around the marina for quite a while. And um, we've had some hot, hot, hot days, but today started off cloudy and nice and breezy. Much fresher, so we think it's a good day to climb up and see what it's like, see how far we can get. And what we have found, Joscha, when she starts climbing mountains, she can go for hours. Normal walking, not so much, but climbing, a lot. So hopefully, we've got to try it out. Nice, we just stopped by a little shop across the road, got some drinks, some snacks and we'll walk up to those two peaks over there, right in the middle of the screen. Would be nice. I think I saw it's 459 meters high. Let's see if it's too much or if it's a big success. <laughs> well, we did walk for two minutes and it's lunchtime under the banana trees. Only the melting chocolate. Oh yeah, okay. Melting chocolate needs to be eaten. Makes sense, right? <laughs> the yummy chocolate. But it's a nice spot under the trees. This is heel lekker. This is Pindar Kasi. Well, I think we are halfway there. We made a quite a few stops just to chill, do some homework even with Joshua. Keep it fun for Lily. And a uh, little playground here. The wind has picked up a lot. So should we really be kite surfing? Anyways, this is really nice, refreshing, cool, super nice. Starting to get some really nice clouds there out over the sea. I'm trying to remember the name of these again in English. Granatappel. Hmm? Look that to us. Anyone remember on YouTube? Well, I think this is as far as we're gonna make it. The peak is a little bit much with the small ones. But uh, look, this is a nice place for a picnic. Huh? And there's a little bit of rain coming in. <laughs> so we have a little bit of shelter here, I think. Right, so I let Jolin go back down with the girls back to the play area because it was too much for the, for the, for the kids. And I want to just get to the top of this little rocky outcrop that we can see from the marina, right? I think I'm almost there. The road just bears off behind me there. So I took a right turn and now there is still a path. And uh, I think it leads to the viewpoint to the top of the rocks. Almost there, let's see. This one is ahead of me. So, and that's out over the sea down there. It's awesome, right? Very, very close. Marina. And top of the cliff. I think so. A couple meters away. You see the stuff to climb. Very sharp rocks actually.
don't know about you, but I always worry about uh, parts of the rocks broccoling off, basically. Looks like it's happening everywhere. <laughs> Just gotta make it down now. And that's it for today, at least for this bit.